The first computers were programmed with wires and switches and would continue running the program until the configuration was changed. As computers became more sophisticated, they were expected to run a number of programs for a number of users and use increasing amounts of additional hardware. To do this, computers needed an operating system. An operating system is software that manages the computer. To be more precise, it manages the hardware, the software, the security of the system and the user interface. You have probably heard of a number of different operating systems, including Microsoft Windows, Apple iOS, Google Android, Unix, Linux for example. In exams you should never use these brand names, but instead refer to the generic purpose of operating systems. There are seven key purposes of an operating system. The first is managing the processor, deciding which process to execute next and handling interrupts to the currently executing process. The operating system also manages the memory. It allocates and manages the memory used and relinquished by processes using paging and segmentation and it manages the virtual memory. The operating system manages external devices. It uses device drivers to translate operating system instructions into those understood by specific models of hardware, for example printers. The operating system also provides a platform for application software and utility programs. The operating system provides a framework for applications to run, allowing them to open and close files easily, for example, as well as a number of other things that you would expect to be able to accomplish using the application software. The user can also interact with the operating system to manage files and use a range of utilities, for example, File Explorer and Defrag. The operating system provides a platform for networking, communication through protocols to other machines and devices. The operating system manages security, servicing and denying requests to access the resources connected to the computer, for example the shared drives. In a networking environment you would expect the operating system to manage login requests and access to the printers managing the queues for example. Finally the operating system provides a user interface Users interact with applications through the interface provided by the operating system and this may be graphical, as in a GUI, graphical user interface, a WIMP, windows, icons, menus, pointers, or menu driven or command line. So we see the importance and the purpose of operating systems. The user interacts with the applications, the applications interact with the operating system, and the operating system interacts with the hardware. This is a good example of what is known as layering. Each layer does not need to concern itself with what is happening above and below it. So for example, the user does not have to concern themselves with how the operating system actually works. The applications don't need to concern themselves with how to actually save and open a file. And that is managed by the operating system itself in communication with the hardware.